Calvin Castine at the West Plattsburgh, excuse me, West Chazy Fire Department Field. Back of the fire station. This is all part of the George Dino area. Not sure if this field, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, not sure if this field is part of the George Dino field or just the youth field portions. This is Fireman's Softball. And this is game three in the best of three. All Sable Forks is going against <laughs> the West Shazy Beatman Town team. West Shazy resident uh, Gerald Smith is here to cheer on uh, his local fireman. Series is all knotted up. 1 1. Winner will face Altona, who defeated uh, Ellenberg in their series. Two games to nothing. Burt Drake, a right fielder, is going to lead it off for uh, Sable. He takes a strike. Pete Manor is on the pitching rubber. Super Dave Lucia is behind the plate. Ed Ducharms at first base. Over at second, it's Rick Morrison Jr. And we're going to have a base runner here. Uh, let's see, Rick Morrison, and at shortstop, it's Brian Menard. Third base is John Thu in the outfield. Uh, let's see, you got uh, Denny Bruce Jr. out there, Ryan Sponable, Daryl Menard, Donnie Smith. Here is Jason Wisher, second baseman. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! We're in the first inning. It's hit to shortstop. Menard goes to second. Left handed shortstop. With a short toss to Morrison, we have one down. Now Christopher Cross, Chris Cross, the left fielder at the plate. One on, one out. In the first. Two and oh the count. We hope to get at least uh, one of the games in the finals. I know uh, it's ball four. They play uh, on a Tuesday of next week, which would be the normal time to play. This is a Thursday here. Now Dave Hart is up. The women's basketball playoffs will be going on. And uh, if my daughter's team is in the semifinals, then uh, I intend to be there to cover the women's playoffs. The semis and the finals. Let's hit to left field. Denny Bruce is over. And there'll be no advance or two down. Now bring up the pitcher for uh, Sable Forks, Mike Mitchell. Pitch from Manor. That's a base hit. This could score the first run. Bruce will pick it up. If a run will score, it'll be first and second. Third baseman, Mike Bola. Now the batter. Two on, two outs. And one in here in the first. Bola hits it up the middle. And Menard will pick it up. It's going to be... One to six in the scorebook. It went off Menard's foot, so he touched it, so he gets the assist. And he's telling Menard it's not unassisted. I get the assist on that. As one run for I'll say before as we go to the bottom of the first. On the pitching rubber for I'll say before it's Mike Mitchell behind the plate. It's Casey Zamazer. At first base, it's Howard Drake. Second base is Jason Wisher. Dave Hart's at short. Mike Bola's at third base. Uh, in the outfield, Chris Cross, Jeremy Lofier, and uh, Bert Drake. And Tim Lincoln will be the rover. He'll be going uh, playing that roving position instead of the fourth outfielder. Here's shortstop Brian Menard going to lead off the 
Bottom of the first is team down. One nothing. Game three in the best of three. Winner advances, loser says wait till next year. Lola Miller is coaching here at first base. That's yanked. Foul. Whoop. Ouch. There he comes. Hey, alligators didn't get him. The ball didn't go anywhere. I think it bounced on the grass here. And it bounced beyond him. Well, he'll find it. They found it. This one's in fair territory. It's a base hit. And the base hit. Leadoff single for Menard. It's the ball fell in front of Cross. So the potential tying run is on board, and Jude Ducharme, the extra hitter, steps in for West Shay Z. Hit. Ball didn't come up. Bernard back in at second. Ducharme on with the single. Or maybe just an error in that. I think that should have been caught. Here's Ryan Sponable. Hits it to Cross. Cross makes a nice catch. Menard tags. Goes to third. He is there. I don't think the uh, third baseman uh, Bolo was expecting him. Ducharme stayed put at first for some reason. Now Ed Ducharme, the cleanup man, is the batter. Runners at the corners. one nothing. Well, Shay Z trails. Mitchell's pitch. Popped up. Popped up. Two down. So the baton is passed to Denny Bruce Jr. Two outs. Tying run at third. Ball one. August 25th, today, 2009. Temperature in the low to mid 80s. Ducharm comes through with the base hit. Brother Ed might have scored if he'd advanced the second on that fly out to left field earlier. Well, instead, he advances to second. So it's 1 1. Ducharm's at first and second. And Super Dave Lucia. He's going to hit left. Popped up. Line shot to the second se second baseman, Jason Wisher. He makes a nice catch on it. So it's 1-1 one, one after 1. We're going to the second here on Viewer Supported Hometown Cable. Jeremy Lothier takes ball one to start the second inning. Hit to third, go to first, and go out of play. So through through a little low there. Here's Tim Lincoln. One one the score. Pitch from Pete Manor. Manor's pitch. Hit to Menard. He fires a low one to Ducharm and a good advance there. Good running by Lothier. Puts himself. Uh, 60 feet away, or 65, I'm not sure what the firemen use. They might use the 65 foot. Howard Drake, first baseman, up now for uh, Sable Forks. Strike called. Hit the second, this will score the run. He held up there, he should have been going. Walter should have been going a little quicker than that. Morrison going to Ducharme with the out. Uh, Casey Zometzer, the catcher. 
All three of forks leading it 2-1 here in the top of the second. Pitch from Manor. Ball four. You walk the number 11 batter. You, you're not doing what you, what you want to do, that's for sure. Top of the order now, Burt Drake at the plate. And we're trying to find the mat. There's one. Menard. One hands it. Oh, they get one run. It's 2-1 after an inning and a half here on viewer-supported hometown cable. <laughs> Pete Manor will step in to start the bottom half of the second in this 2-1 ball game. Always wants to take a strike before he swings. One down. Easy play for Lothier brings up Daryl Menard. It's going to be in the trees. Foul. Let's hit the short. Two down. Short stop. Dave Hart making the play, firing to Drake at first. Now uh, Rick Morrison Jr. Pointing to the fence there. He says that's where I'm going to put it over the fence. Except there's no fence there. Nearest fence is at the post office. Wisher grabs it. A quick one, two, three inning. Nothing across for West Shays E. Beekman down. It's 2 1. I'll save a forks. We're heading for the third inning. Jason Wisher, the batter, takes ball one as we start the third. Team up 2 1. to shallow left center. Menard gets there in time for the catch. One down. Well, the man who visited the trees there an inning and a half ago. Chris Cross. Ran into the brush trying to catch the ball. And he hits that one deep into the underbrush. That's fouled. Another foul ball. You only get so many foul balls, and the second one on the third strike is usually an out in a lot of leagues, and that's, I think, the case here. Second ball on the third strike. Oh, I'm not sure that was out of play. Into discussing whether he was out or not. Here's Dave Hart, shortstop. Two outs, nobody on. In the third, 2 1. I'll say well, Forks leads. Fireman's softball winner plays Altona. 
Oh, we're going to go to the bottom of the third. 2-1, Sable Forks leading. Right center fielder Donnie Smith leading off here in the bottom of the third. His team down by a run. Looks like one outside. Ball one. Lincoln grabs. One out. Uh, John Thu, known as E.T. to his teammates. Top of the order on deck. Cross grabs. Two down. We have a baton twirler over here. We've got uh, Brian Menard at the plate. Hits the first pitch through the left side. Looking for two. He'll be safe at second. Him a double. And the time in scoring position. Jude Ducharme steps up. Two outs in the third. Not a lot of fans came from uh, well, Sable Forks. A bit of a drive to get here to West Shazy. That'll do it. No! Ow! Oh, ow! 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 High fly ball. And then I'm, uh, yeah, can't blame it on the sun. The sun's behind him. He just uh, misjudged it. Yeah. And the ball, I'm not sure. I think he's wearing glasses. Maybe not. No. Maybe not. No. Just uh, didn't hit any glasses. I'll give it a 10 for style. Uh, going to the, uh, I don't know what happened here. He missed the ball. We're going to the uh, third inning. Okay, everybody was <laughs> more aware of what happened there than I was, certainly. Uh, here's Mike Mitchell. The ball was actually caught. I, uh, once I saw it hit uh, Lincoln bounce off his head, I lost track of the ball. And it was caught by the other outfielder, so uh, obviously the ball not touching the ground, he is out. And I didn't even notice that. I saw it bounce off uh, Lincoln, and I said, oh, well, it's going to drop in. But knew it was caught uh, probably by uh, Lothier. So it remains 2-1. We are now in the fourth inning, not the third. Line shot, Morrison fires to first and throws it. Out of play to the baton twirler here. She's getting ready for football season there. She's got her baton out. There she goes. Kind of hard to twist uh, something like that, though. <laughs> Not too well balanced for twisting, spinning. She's getting better at it. Okay, we got uh, runner at second. And one out. And Jeremy Lothier to play. Drops in. It's going to score a run. Now make it 3 1. And now Tim Lincoln, the fellow who kept his eye on the ball. Ooh, you can see he's got underneath his left eye there. He's got a big it's flown to Bruce. Not sure if we'll get another look at his under his left eye, but he's got a a big welt there. He just went to a couple rounds with uh, with Muhammad Ali. Meanwhile, we got uh, Howard Drake at the plate. And, uh, Howard Duck movie was out. It must have. Been an interesting time period for a fellow named Howard Drake. We're not going to get a look at that left eye, are we? I guess not. 
Off Menor, Manor's glove, he goes to Menar just in time for the out. Just in time. We're going to go to the bottom of the fourth, halfway through this one. Now, Sable Forks leads 3 1. Let's go, boys. Come on, get up here, get up here. Ryan Sponable leading off the bottom half for the fourth. His team down by two. It's a fair ball. It's a base hit. Sponable is going to be in a second with a double. Lead off double. Yeah, Ed Ducharme, the pitcher, hits it on the ground to. Whoop! Whoop! Sponable. We've got some uh, heads up base running. Hart tried to fool him. Sponable didn't fight, fall for it, and Hart ended up eating the ball. So Ducharme reaches on a fielder's choice. And Denny Bruce Jr. is at the plate with the potential tying run at first base. He's going to drop it into right field. It's going to be a three to two ball game. Sponable. The head first slide there. Head first slide. He didn't need to get down and dirty, but he did. Trying to excite the team. So it was a 3 2 ball game, and Super Dave Lucia, the batter, with a potential tying run at second. Go ahead, run at first. And do we have anybody out? Uh, Nope, nobody out. Lucia hits it up the middle, base hit. That's going to send home Ducharme. Here's the throw. He's going to be out at the plate, throw to third. And Super Dave, meanwhile, tripped going around first. Limps way, is way back into first. Well, Ducharme is out at the plate, one down. And Pete Manor at the plate. Manor pops it up. Strike one. Good try by Howard the Drake. Strike two. Mitchell had 0 2 on the count. Manor hits it up the middle, and it's going to see its way through. <laughs> Dave sliding in at third. Uh, uh, one leg is not longer than the other here. <laughs> no, women are saying, pull your shorts down here. You're showing too much leg. <laughs> showing too much leg. 3-3. Three, three. Go ahead, run at third base. Manor on at first. And... Uh, Daryl Menard up now. Or oh, what shows he beaten down? And a little bit of Moores. That's going to drop in. That'll make it 4 3 in favor of what shows he. There's Rick Morrison. On the ground. <laughs> Ooh, they're gonna give it to him. That's not. That is not a. That did not have control. He did not have control of that ball. Did not have control. He was leaning on the ball. Uh, I don't think a regular umpire would have uh, called that an out. But in a friendly game like this, Smith drops it in two. Left field, Menard scores. So RBI for Donnie Smith. I believe that's now 5 3. We'll check the score at the end of this half inning. John Thu at the plate. Strike one. Runner at second left. So we're gonna go to the <laughs> go to the uh, 
Fifth inning. It is 5-3 in favor of West Shazy. Lola Misek Miller has come in to play second base. And we've got uh, AC Zometer at the plate. And Leonard grabs it. One down. Nice catch. Now we'll get us to the top of the order. Bert Drake, the batter. And horse pitch. I apologize for these stupid dog. <laughs> Waiting for his owner to return. Hope it's not too distracting on your TV screen. In the trees and <laughs> look out. Hit to Menard, left-hander throws to first, not in time. Not in time. Close one. Oh, they call him out. Call him out. I would have called him safe. Hopefully, I'll run a replay on that. And we go to Jason Wisher. Five three. Well, Shazy leads in the fifth. Bruce grabs. It remains five three. We're going to the bottom of the fifth here on viewer supported hometown cable. John E.T. is at the plate as we start the bottom half of the fifth with West Shazy leading 5-3 in a good game thus far. And go, oh, nice stop there by Cheeks. Cheeks got her hand out just in time. Hart throws a little high, so Thu goes to second base. Top of the order now, Brian Menard, the batter. Kind of drop in in left field. And throw the in and... He has hurt his shoulder. His shoulder is in pain. I don't know if he has a dislocated shoulder or what, but uh, it's very possible. Well, apparently it's not his shoulder. Well, they're helping him off holding his shoulder, so it's got to be somewhere in the leg area, I'd assume. Jude Ducharme at the plate. The runners at second, third. Morrison has come in to run in place of Menard. Nice catch there by the pitcher Mitchell. One down. <laughs> now we got Ryan Sponable. They don't run on the ball. Hit. To the left side of the infield, but he he caught enough grief on the last batter from the from uh, Daryl Menard that he decided to run on that one because he got heck for not running on the other one. So there's two down, and Ed Ducharme at the plate. left field by uh, cross so nothing a cross for what Shazy remains 5-3 through 5 full 
Bonneville has now moved to shortstop. Replaced the injured Menard, and somehow the league rules allow Morrison to come in for the injured player. You see, if you're out of players, they can put somebody back in. Uh, it's not uh, the uh, way things are done in normal circumstances, but the fireman has a fireman league has a lot of. Uh, special uh, bylaws. Chris Cross is at the plate. Twins gets it back to Manor. Manor to Ducharm. One down. Dave Hart takes a strike. Hit to Sponable. Not in time. I must think I look like a raccoon or something. Mike Mitchell is the batter now. Potential tying run at the plate. Top of the sixth inning. One out. Morrison fires it in, first and second. Mike Bola steps up with a potential tying run on board here in this 5-3 ball game. That's a base hit. Should drive home run number four, make it a 5-4 ball game. Puts the potential tying run at second and the potential go-ahead run on at first base. Still just one down, and Jeremy Lothier, the batter. It's a foul, strike one. <laughs> Through the left side, that's going to tie the ball game. That'll be first and second, 5-5 five, five the score. Still just one out, and Lincoln, the batter. Uh, see if we can see that welt under his left eye. There it is. Big, big bruise. He's going to have a nice black eye tomorrow. And it's going to go is it in play. Out of play. Out of play. Got to hit the cutoff. Go ahead, run with score. Got to hit the cutoff. Oh, this team now up 6-5. Howard Drake takes the ball. Runner at second. Lothier. That's going to score run number seven. Makes it 7-5. And Casey Zomitzer, the batter. Popped up. Dave Lucia worried about that kid as much as anything there. Just kind of stuck his glove out there. Might have had a better shot at it. The little kid just innocently wandering around back there. <laughs> just picked the wrong time to be in that spot. <laughs> but he might have saved his team and out. <laughs> Give him the game ball if he wins. First and second. <laughs> Top of the order, Burt Drake, the batter. Line shot to John Fu. He grabs it. They strand two, will add him up and go to the bottom of the sixth. Let's see, Denny Bruce Jr. will lead off the bottom of the sixth. According to my figures, it's 8-5 uh, lead for us Able Forks. Oh, strike one. Strike two. <laughs> 
Just missed. One ball, two strikes. Mitchell's pitch. Uh, Bruce is going to drop it into right center field. He's going to get two bases out of it. Uh, leads off with a double. Uh, puts Super Dave Lucia at the plate. Nice catch. And Bruce draws a throw. Good catch there by Lothier in center. One out and Pete Manor at the plate. Takes a strike. Sixth inning. Manor hits it to Lothier. Two down. With Pete Manor out, it'll bring up Daryl Menard. That's through the left side. Danny Bruce will score. Menard will stop it first. It's 8 6. And with two outs in the bottom of the six, Lola Misek Miller represents a potential tying run. She's up for the first time. Tries to drop it into right center. It is caught by the right fielder, Burt Drake. So we'll go to the seventh inning, 8-6. I'll say we'll force leaving Washazi here on viewer supported on town cable. Ryan, all yours. We're hearing that the score is 7-6, so we're going to go with that score. We're in the top of the seventh. We, don't, uh, we just scribble down a bunch of stuff there. As the, as the game progresses, we don't keep a scorebook, so we assume people with a scorebook know a lot more than we do. Jason Wisher flies out to Daryl Menard. We have one down to start things in the seventh. And the batter is now Chris Cross. Game three in the best of three. Foul ball, strike one. Winner advances, the loser is done for the year. It's a line shot. Falls in. Looking for two, he's going to have it. Oh, Cross hustles his way into the scoring position, and Dave Hart, shortstop, cleanup man, takes a strike. 7 6, according to reliable sources. 8 6, according to my scribbling, but we're going to go with the 7 6. Could be trouble. Sponnerbo grabs, two down. And pitcher Mike Mitchell. Bruce over foul ball. Look out, look out. No, Morrison said he had it. Oh, run scores. There's a hill there. And the fielders are coming down a bit on a slope. Looking up in the air. It's not good running conditions. Not as bad as Scioto, but uh, still not good running conditions. 
This is, let's see, uh, Bola, Mike Bola. So it should now be 8-6. That's a base hit. That'll make it 9-6. Whoa. And you got Greedy. Lola puts the tag on 9-6. I think we're going to the bottom of the seventh. I'll say before it's up by Trey. Okay, after much discussion, we're hearing 9 6 for a score. Okay, so we finally got the score settled. Uh, down Smith at the plate. 9 6 the score. Down Thu on deck with Rick Morrison to follow. So the first will be in the crowd. Souvenir for a lucky fan. And he throws it back. Funny, funny Randy Rodgeway doesn't catch him when Alton is playing, but he can catch him here. John Thu at the plate, just joking. Some of the Altona players are here to see who their opponents will be. Thu is going to drop it into the glove. Nice diving catch by the shortstop, Dave Hart. Great stop. He'll bring up Rick Morrison, Jr. He was started the game, replaced by Lola Miller, and came back in when uh, Brian Menard was injured. Fireman softball. Semi-finals, August 25, 2009. Winner of this game, which will be decided shortly, will advance. Hit to second, throw to first. It's going to be out of play. Off the tire. Another souvenir. Another souvenir for a lucky fan. Uh, it should be 9 7, and Jude Duchamp at the plate. Strike one, no, no. Nice job behind the plate by Casey Zometzer. Big, big play there, gets him on the foul ball. So Ryan Sponable represents the potential tying run and the potential last out, hits it to short. The two minute third, throw to first will be in time. In time, and I'll see the Forks team We'll advance. They defeat the West Shazy Club by a 9-7 to seven margin, and that's the way it was. And Kenton County Firemen's softball action on this August 25th, 2009. Thanks for watching and for those of you supporting. Viewer-supported local television, hometown cable, win, lose, a draw, TV, worth your support. Score. Strike. And three one pitch. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Straight away center. It's deep. It's all back in the park by Donnie Laporte. What a big league play that was by Donnie Laporte. That is the catch of the day, no doubt about it. A three-run catch for Donnie Laporte. Mark Tetro is at the plate. Leading off the bottom of the second, but the team down by two. It's it to left center. 
whoop, whoop, whoop. What is Jimmy Knight doing there? Not Baker got it, but uh, Knight almost uh, caused that to fall in. It's like Dollar Bill LeBeau coaching at uh, third base. Chris Booten, the batter. Boudin takes it inside. 5-3, Baker's Legion leads. 2-0 pitch. Booten chops it. Rabideau will take it unassisted. We have two down. Now oh, Andrew Castine, the batter. And the pitch. To left field. Baker is right there. It's 5 3 after two full. Legion pulls 16 19. Baker and Sons is leading by two after two full. The Iceman Scott Baker will lead off for Baker and Sons. And the top of the third with his team up by two. Off the glove of Lajway. That'll be a base hit for Baker. It's uh, at least the second one. Remember, uh, Castine almost catching one in right center when the uh, when the uh, balls are hitting off the gloves like that uh, and falling in for base hits, not errors. Base hits uh, usually means that the uh, uh, things are going the way of the team at bat. Here's Knight. Give me Knight. And it can sometimes mean the difference in the ball game. Those plays like that, that just come off the glove. It just means the uh, breaks are coming your way tonight. And that usually means uh, you have a good chance at the victory. Knight flies out. Baker advances. And Nate Durkee, the extra hitter, steps in. That was too much arc. Mayette grabs it. Two down. There's Dave Waldron. Chops it to nice pickup by Lashway. Over to Chris Castine for the out. Nice pickup there by the third sacker. Nothing across for Legion Post 16-19, Baker and Sons after two and a half. It's 5-3 for the team.